Hello everybody, it's me, Kenya. Welcome to my channel, 40 Entrepreneur Drive. In today's video, I am going to show you how I make my PNGs. In case you're wondering what a PNG is, it's the image with the background removed. And this is how I have been making some of my thumbnails lately. The app that I use to remove the background is this simple background remover right here. This is a free app from the Google Play Store. This is what it looks like when you open it up. In order to remove the background from an image, you need to cut the photo. So I will select the option to cut photo. I can take a picture and remove the background from the picture that I make, or I can choose from pictures that I already have saved in my device. Here are some of my most recent pictures that I will be using for future thumbnails. I'll pick one picture and I will crop it as much as possible using the corners and pulling them in. Everything outside of this box will not need to be removed. Using the option at the bottom that says manual, I will adjust the size of the eraser that I'm going to use and I will adjust something called offset, which means the smaller dot underneath it. Do I want the control dot to be above my eraser? on the eraser or below my eraser. I usually keep mine a little bit below. When I move the solid dot, I'm in control of the empty circle that is my eraser. I'll erase as much of the background image, getting close to the part that I wanna keep, but trying not to erase that part. If you make a mistake, it's easy to restore it by going to the option to restore, which is down at the bottom next to manual. Restore is pretty much an eraser. So you can adjust the size of your tool again and adjust whether you want your control point to be at the top, on top of, or below your eraser. And then I would go in and recover anything that I accidentally erased. If you use two fingers, you can also make the image bigger so you can zoom in and get closer to the parts that you want to remove. This can be a little bit tedious, but it's a free way to remove the background if you don't have software like Photoshop or some other software that does this for you that is expensive. So this is pretty much what I do. I carefully trace around any part that I want to remove the background from. And if I get too close and I take away something that I didn't mean to, I'll just go back to restore, adjust the size of my tool, Zoom in if I need to using two fingers and I go back over the part. This is pretty much a back and forth method that I use to remove the background. It takes me less than 10 minutes to do this. Once you have completed everything that you wanted to take out of the picture, you select the check mark in the upper right hand corner. Whatever's left behind will be shown on the green screen. So if more needs to be taken out, you can press the left facing arrow button to go back and complete your project. Make sure that you have completely restored any parts that need to be restored because if you don't, when you go to save your project, any part of your picture that has green on it from the green screen will be transparent when you place it on top of another image. So as you can see here on my shirt, there is a green speck of a piece that is missing. 
If I was to put this on top of a red background, I would have a red mark on my shirt because that part of my picture is transparent. So always pay attention to make sure that you don't have any green screen on your image so that that part won't be transparent on your final picture. Once you've completed removing as much of the background as you want, you can use an extra option at the bottom, which is a smoothing tool, which makes it so that the edges around your image aren't so choppy looking so that it blends into the background of wherever you are placing this a little bit better. That is an extreme blended edge. This is a medium blended edge. This is no blended edge. You probably can't tell now, but once you place this on top of another image, it will be more apparent. You use the check mark to save and you want to save it as a PNG. When you save it in PNG, you are saving your cutout picture just as if it were a sticker. You can choose the resolution that you want to save it at. This is what it will look like. When I go to my gallery, it will either be on a black background or sometimes a white background. However I save it is how it will be. So I have to make sure that I'm very careful about cleaning up the edges and cleaning up parts like the inside of my arm where there's still a little piece of background left. Next, I will show you how to import a PNG picture just like this into a thumbnail. Leave this super helpful video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. Share it with a friend while you're at it and I will see you in the next video. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching it all the way till the end. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me on social media. Now, let me know what you think about this next upcoming video.